Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm D Hicks. Today I'm reviewing the App Launcher ADW Launcher. Let's get started with the review. First off, my screen layout is five down row, eight across columns. Okay. I long press on the screen to reveal the options. We have the options for settings, ADW settings, the lock uh, desktop setting, the range screen settings, resize the screen, and wallpaper. To access more, you have to click add here, and you can create luncture actions here. You can add these to the uh, home screen. And then you got shortcuts, create shortcuts, custom shortcuts, widgets, and the new folder options. Let's go into the ADW settings. Here, here's where you can customize your uh, launcher to wherever you want to uh, set it at. Here we go into the screen. With style here you can change the color of this UI. You can change it to light or dark. This next setting is the desktop layout here which is you can have an action bar on the home screen you click on this right now it's disabled but uh, here are some different options you can choose it to uh, customize it I click that I'm gonna show you what it looked like if you're familiar with AD launcher this is the action bar it has the search the voice search and this here button here will access the app drawer by clicking on it. There's the app drawer. Okay. That's the action bar. I think by checking this button here is to let the uh action bar rotate with the screen. This here controls the desktop columns and rows. Okay like I said I had it eight across in columns and in rows I had it five down in rows. Here. And um, you can set a highlight color for your uh, app icons. I mean, yes, on the home screen, you uh, know you can't hardly tell it. It's red color. Have it set to, uh, when you press it, uh, the icon it will be highlighted by red. Okay. You got infinite scroll, screen transitions, which can change it to uh, a lot of different ones. It has it's quite a bit. You have about 18 to choose from. Okay. Here, you can show outlines on your on your screen. The outlines that go around the screen. When you flip your screen from left to right, it will show the uh, highlight of a square-like box around it. And this control your desktop scrolling speed and this also would control your desktop bounce you can set it to whatever you want here and wallpaper scrolling and uh, this here uses the new sense like information on your preview sense previews and here you can change the indicator type on your screen that's the indicators above your dock 
you can change it to you have about five options here I just have dots over the dot right now and you can auto hide the desktop indicator as well here with the check here okay the app drawer you can change the style of the app drawer by clicking this you can have it uh, you have choose your options here you have about um, 10 options to choose from you can uh, set up the tab dock and you can hide the uh, uh, hide the uh, app do uh, dock in there and you can adjust the uh, columns portrait mode and the uh, rows in portrait mode and also can uh, adjust it in columns and landscape mode and also rows in landscape mode you can change the background color shoulder labels and you can also uh, change the color of those labels and also the shadow of it and you can even add draw transition effects desktop zoom and the zoom effect speed here like I said you have to just play around with it icons here is where you can adjust the uh, icon size and show us labels and to uh, access more options to this you have to check show labels and this way you can change the size the color shadow color label color and the next option here is to uh, provide uh, fancy backgrounds for your uh, icons on your home screen. You can change the color th there. To change the color to the fancy backgrounds, you can change it here at this option here. Custom color. On to the folders the folder style you can change the uh, style of the folders it will be uh, yeah, we, this will be when the apps you got it full of apps and stuff you can change the direction where it's uh, you uh, either scrolling uh, horizontally vertically or uh, vertical pagnated or ICS pagnated or cube you have uh, several different settings here to set it and the photo uh, photo previews you can have it in stack fan or grid and you can also change the uh, icon background to circle square or plate or hole and you also can customize the labels which is uh, you can show the uh, labels or not or you can have it change the color and shadow of it and you can have the option of uh, auto closing the folders. App Dock. <clears throat> you can change the style here. Different styles of phone, bottom right, tablet bottom. Or you can just disable it. And you can set it to auto close when launching uh, apps. And you can. Uh, change the dock size and portrait and landscape you can have the option to uh, create reflections in the dock or you can auto size uh, the icons if it's less icons, icons expected in it and this here where you can change the icon scale here you can have also to auto uh, scroll scroll to the first page after launching the uh, apps from the dock here it also has a dock icons tent here you have to, uh, to for more settings you have to check this to get to the tent color okay gestures you have uh, 
wide variety of options here for the gestures. You can set each one of them to where, however you want by just clicking on it and you can change it to uh, control it uh, however you want. They don't have the option where it can just tap on the screen for it to lock the screen. I wish they had that option. That option is in, uh, available in Nova. And for themes, these themes were for Nova, but they work for ADW too. Just so simply click on one one you like. And if you want to get more themes, you can just click here and go to the uh, Google Play Store. System, it has a little bit more options here advanced settings for one you can check uh, this for the keep it in memory and home screen orientation here you can change the home screen orientation this here can uh, say double tap the uh, desktop icons to edit you can hide the status bar if you don't want to see it in the uh, in your settings here Overlap widgets, auto stretch, and show notifications. There's many more options here. Also, you can back up and restore your launcher here. And restart ADW is pretty good when if you uh, deleted an icon out of an uninstalled icon. It often leaves the icon in your drawer. Uh, the only way to get rid of it is to restart the ADW launcher. And that'll uh, take it right out. Also, uh, I've noticed that uh, you cannot add a folder in the app drawer. The only thing you can do is create groups different groups you create those groups by going into here and say set up a group and you can manage the group here is where you uh, can add the different groups to whatever apps you like if you want to add tools you can click on that to create tool group and then you can go through everything add the uh, apps you want to put in tubes there other than that that's the only way you can group your apps is to create groups there's no folders the folders won't go there's no option to add folders to the drawer if there is I didn't find it but overall I think it's a uh, nice launcher replacement for uh, if you don't like stock Android launchers and uh, <clears throat> I will uh, use this behind Nova uh, I think Nova is better than ADW it's just a matter of choice preferences if you like it uh, that's your choice but <clears throat> it's a nice launcher and uh, I highly recommend it If you'd like to try this launcher, it's available in the Google Play Store. Click on the link in the description below. If you like this video, feel free to leave a comment below. And please like and subscribe if you like this video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.